Hi, welcome to my channel Industry 4.0. Today, in this video, you will learn about generators and coroutines in Python. Please like and share the video and subscribe to my channel. So, let's start. Introduction Python has generators. They may be used for a practice of coroutines. In this post, we will learn about generators and coroutines in Python. Before understanding the generators and coroutines, we will have to be acquainted with the concept of an iterator. What is iterator? Iterator is an object on behalf of a stream of data. This is valuable as it allows any custom object to be iterated over using the standard Python for it in syntax. This is eventually how the internal list and dictionary types work. Also, how they permit for in to iterate over them. An iterator is very memory well organized. It means there is only ever one element being picked up at once. An iterator object delivers an infinite order of elements. We'll never find our program shattering its memory allocation. Description Generators Generators make available a suitable method to implement the iterator protocol. When a container object's underscore underscore iter underscore underscore method is applied as a generator, it would automatically return an iterator object. Generators provides nice syntax sugar around making a simple iterator. They help to decrease the boilerplate code needed to make something iterable. A generator may support to reduce the code boilerplate related with a class-based iterator. Because they're designed to grip the state management logic. We would then have to write ourselves. Application. A generator is a function that returns a generator iterator. Therefore, it perform alike to how underscore underscore iter underscore underscore works. Keep in mind that it returns an iterator. Actually, a generator is a subclass of an iterator. The generator function itself should use a yield statement. That is to return control back to the caller of the generator function. The caller may then progress the generator iterator by using either the forint statement or next function. That again highlights how generators are really a subclass of an iterator. If a generator yields, it in fact breaks the function at that point in time and returns a value. Calling next would move the function forward. It will there moreover complete the generator function or stop at the next yield declaration within the generator function. Example. A version of the built-in range with two or three arguments and positive steps can be implemented as 37 def range start stop step equals one. 38 enumerates the values from start and steps of size step that are 39 less than stop. 40. 41 assert step 0, only positive steps implemented in range. 42 I equals start. 43 while I stop. 44 yield I. 45 I plus equals step. 46. 47 print, range 2, 33, list, range 2, 33. Note that the built-in range is unconventional in how it grips a single argument. Because the single argument acts as the second argument of the function. The built-in range also permits for indexing. For example, range 2, 33, 2 returns 8, which the above implementation does not. However, range also works for floats that the built-in range does not. Coroutines 
Coroutines are computer program components that simplify subroutines for non-preemptive multitasking. Those multitasking organizes by letting execution to be suspended and resumed. As coroutines may pause and resume execution context, they're well right to con concurrent processing. They allow the program to determine when to context switch from one point of the code to another. This is why coroutines are normally used when dealing with concepts, for example, an event loop. Application Generators usage the yield keyword to return a value at some point in time inside a function. Then with coroutines the yield directive can also be used on the right-hand side of an equals operator to indicate it will accept a value at that point in time. Example Following is an example of a coroutine. Always remember that coroutine is still a generator. Therefore, we'll realize our example uses features that are related to generators, such as yield and the next function. Def foo. Notice we use yield in both the traditional generator sense and also in the coroutine sense. Message equals yield hashtag coroutine feature. Yield message hashtag generator feature. Coro equals foo. Hashtag because a coroutine is a generator. Hashtag we need to advance the return generator. Hashtag to the first yield within the generator function. Next, coro. Hashtag the dot send. Syntax is specific to a coroutine. Hashtag this sends bar to the first yield. Hashtag so the message variable will be assigned that value. Result equals coro.send bar. Hashtag because our coroutine also yields the message variable. Hashtag it means we can print that value. Print result hashtag bar. Note that coro is an identifier commonly used to refer to a coroutine. Following is an example of a coroutine using yield to return a value to the caller. That is previous to the value received through a caller using the dot send method. Def foo. Message equals yield beep. Yield message. Coro equals foo. Print next coro hashtag beep. Result equals coro dot send bar. Print, result, hashtag bar. We can understand in the above example that when we move the generator coroutine to the first yield statement using next, coro, that the value beep was returned for us to print.